Hi, in this video, I'm just going to do a little review on credit card reward programs from the South African banks. So this is mostly for people who live in South Africa. Okay, so I was looking for a credit card, just a credit card, not a current account, check account, and all the things that go with it. I just wanted to find out the best credit card in terms of rewards. I'm not talking about uh, the service, customer service, uh, in terms of uh, insurance and, 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 and things like that. I just wanted to know which credit card is going to give me the most rewards. For example, say you spend 50,000 Rand a month on your credit card. Which credit card should you go for um, or should I go for so that I can get maximum rewards? And uh, this is the uh, little research that I did and I'm not giving financial advice and I'm just providing information of what I found quite interesting when I tried to look at how I'll get the best rewards from just a credit card. Okay, so the, starting with First National Bank, they do offer a standalone credit card. And the reason why I say they do offer a standalone credit card is that some banks won't give you just the credit card. Uh, they want to link it to a current account or things like that. So First National Bank, you can get a standalone credit card. They've got their excellent um, e-buck system. But here's the catch. The, you will not get maximum rewards with e-bucks if you only have a credit card. So in my case, this wouldn't work because if I want to get maximum rewards in terms of e-bucks, I would have to take on their uh, other products. So I've created a little spreadsheet and I've said, okay, so First National Bank, the rewards program is called e-bucks, but the percentage that you're going to get back is based on the tiers and you must take on other products. So if you're just going to have a credit card, well, you're not going to get the maximum rewards. So that brings me to the end of the FNB option because obviously I want to get maximum rewards just from the credit card alone. Okay, so moving on. Right, so just a, a note, when I did show the First National, I just want to say that this is their product. The reason why I say that is because if you look at this address line here, it says Kalula Online, or maybe you're looking at the Discovery, they are backed by First National Bank, but um, they the other company like Kalula or Discovery have their own real rewards program. So I'm just to, when I did the one on First National Bank, I'm talking about First National Bank, their own reward system. And I'm going to ABSA, ABSA's own reward system, because ABSA also are the backing bank for, say, the British Airways. Uh, Avios program. I'm not talking about that as yet. I'm just going to talk about ABSA, their own reward system. Okay, so ABSA Bank, uh, you can just get a standalone uh, credit card, but again, we got this problem of the tiers. And the reason why I say problem, it's not a problem if all your products are at ABSA Bank. And you know, maybe you've got a home loan and household insurance and all these things, and you go up these tiers. And as you can see, the higher the tier, um, the more percent, the higher the percentage. And there it says cash rewards from ABSA, you could goes up to like 1.5%. So if you just took a credit card alone, then um, you'll find that your rewards are not very high. You're going to get 0.25% and it's capped as, as at an expenditure of 75000 Now, I'm not sure. When I did phone the call center, they said that that does apply to the credit card as well. But I'm not sure. You would, you would have to just verify that. But that means that if you're someone who's going to spend say, 150000 on your credit card, you're only going to get rewards up to 75000 And if you only have a standalone credit card, well, then from what I'm seeing, you'll only get 0.25%, obviously based on the tiers. And if you bought petrol from here and, in, and if you had a will and insurance. So again, this is a product geared to bring you to their bank just like the first national it's like if you've got the other products that's only when you're going to get the maximum rewards although there is the um, the cap of 75,000 okay so moving on okay so now we come to the standard bank and uh, also again a gear to bring you to the bank if you've just got one of their products you're not going to be able to move through all these tiers and as you can see how it works if you're on tier one you'll get 0.5 percent while if you're on uh, tier two you could get 0.6 percent and you can go all the way to tier five and look at that you can get 1.25 percent on that credit card remember i'm only talking about the credit card because that was the point of the video so if you just had a standalone credit card well then you 
you're going to get 0.5 percent because i don't know how you would get all these move through the tiers without having their other products for example if you go through their um reward tiers you'll see okay use the standard bank app okay you could do that with just uh, a credit card um make standard bank your personal credit or check card on snap scan so again you're starting with these uh, additional services uh, marketing and and uh, communication are you going to allow them to phone you and market transactional banking all right so how much you uh, depositing in your account and so forth so again uh this is where you build in your tiers and if you don't have the other products well then you are only going to um, get the minimum rewards now just looking at their calculator now this is what i wanted to check is there a limit to how much you can spend on the credit card now look if i say seventy-five thousand, and you're on tier one you'll get about 693 rand 30 from their rewards if i go up and i say 120 000, you can see that it did increase so it looks like the the cap isn't a set here while the absa does seem to have a cap let's try something more radical there we go it has increased but then what i noticed is there seems to be a reward points uh cap so if I made this 500,000, yeah, there you go. So it's limited in terms of the Rand value. They're not going to give you more than 2,000 Rand back, no matter what you're spending on this credit card. So again, there is a cap that comes in there, and that is with the uh, U count. So there we go. Um, 2,000 Rand is the cap. And you're probably going to be on the 0.6% if you don't have their other products right now we come to a virgin money card i called the call center and they said they don't offer you rewards in terms of money back every month they offer you you see here they've got the rewards they say uh you get a discount on purchasing flights uh here are the rewards that you get you get an immediate 10 percent discount on tickets so just by banking with them and having a credit card with them well, you're going to get uh, a 10% for travel from South Africa to London or 12 USA routes. So there is a limitation there, but you're getting 10%. And it seems pretty, this is quite interesting and I quite like it. It's kind of like um, not very complicated. It's just you get 10% on these flights. Uh, oh, by the way, and that applies to cabin classes. All right, then you also get a discount on a certain spas. You get a 10% discount on spas. So you can see in terms of uh, having the card, you get these discounts, but it doesn't uh, translate to um, uh, if you earn, if you spend like 100,000 on your credit card, you'll get more rewards. It seems like there's quite a low minimum amount. It says purchases under 2500 you only get that percentage 10 uh, percent, and so forth so what i'm trying to say is that if you're going to be spending fifty thousand a month it's not going to make a difference if you spend 50 or 90 with the uh, virgin money as i understand it from the uh, co uh consultant who i spoke to so so just a, a, a comment here obviously one has to phone call centers and get this information and not all the people know their products very well having to phone twice so obviously you want to read the terms and conditions you get an instant three percent cashback reward paid into your spot wallet when you make a purchase uh, using the virgin money spot app so you can see now this is the cashback reward um, and then there are some other reward uh, they, they list some uh, offers available promotional offers in these merchants but it's not like you're going to get uh, if you spend a hundred thousand rand then you will uh, get x amount of cashback and if you spend uh, less then you'll get this much less so i'm not, it's not very clear it doesn't look like they're going to be uh, they work like that all right so when i did find the call center they did confirm that and they said no they just have the the uh, partners but it's not um based on how much you spend if you spend fifty thousand you're not going to get more rewards than whether you spend a hundred thousand okay moving on the next one is the Kalula. They do offer a standard um, credit card, a standalone credit card. And here is what they offer. Their rewards program is Mula. And what you'll get is Mula back on your spend. So if you spend up to 5,000 Rand a month, you'll get 3% cash back Mula, which 
translate to one mula, I think is one rand. So if you look at that, you'll see there, one mula equals one rand. So if you would like to uh, earn flights, that's also an option. You can only use the mula on the Kalula flight. So you can't go and then uh, book another flight. It has to be on the Kalula side. I also ask them, can they, you know, on Kalula, you can also book, sometimes you can book British Airways and um, what's it, Emirates. But they, the call center said, no, it's only on the Kalula ones. But obviously, I would have to read the legal stuff to see the call center agent was not 100% uh, sure about that. Okay, what my concern was is that, so you can only, you'll only get mullahs up to 20,000. So if you're somebody who wants to spend more than that, if you're spending 75,000, well, the after 20,000, you're not going to be earning any rewards. So, and also what I noticed quite interesting is, it seems geared for lower spending because zero to 5,000 gives you 3% back. F then from five to ten thousand, you're only getting two percent back, and then from ten to twenty, you're only getting one percent back. So it's kind of like a um, descending scale. So that's the uh, Kalula Mula uh, program, and then with the limitation of the twenty thousand. So uh, that might not be useful for someone who wants to spend a lot on their credit card. Okay. Uh, and they are backed by the First National Bank. They, they forward you to Kalula Banking, but it actually takes you to First National Bank's login. Right, now looking at the Discovery Miles program, also very competitive. And I speak from experience. I've used the Discovery Miles program since it started, and I've also used the Ucount since it started. And I also at one point had the EBSA credit card and they've recently just updated all their rewards programs. So these things do change. Uh, going to the Discovery one, what I do like about Discovery is they're pretty clear about their programs in terms of they've got the terms and conditions quite easily accessible. Now, you'll see that they've got a Discovery Miles program and they also had something called Fast Miles, which they have done away with. I had the Fast Miles program and I can tell you that I didn't enjoy it because again, there's a cap. You kept at 15,000 miles, but you had to pay in at that time. It was like 3,300 or something to be part of that, which worked out to just be that difference. So you were kind of just buying those miles. But then you did earn miles at a faster rate. So instead of one mile for every 15 rand, you got one mile for every seven rand 50 or something like that. But overall, um, I worked out that the fast miles was not uh, useful for me. And I find it quite interesting because they no longer offer it. All right. So how does this miles program work? Work. Well, it is quite relate, quite uh, heavily related to their um, vitality program and what uh, vitality status you're on. So the vitality is the um, health aspects and your your your, you know, when you go to the biokinetist or to get your blood pressure checked and glucose and how much training you do, and then you're on the tiers of that, which is basically putting it back to a tiering system. But the tiers are based on health rather than on how many products you've got. Although they do, you know, the very fact that you have the medical aid is again asking you to have more products. So if you just had the discovery card, um, I don't know how you would uh, get the maximum rewards unless you had their, you know, you would have to have their medical aid to get this vitality status. So there you can see they work on something called a miles multiplier. Now, this also keeps changing because before they used to give you cash back and now they give you miles back. So what would happen is in, in earlier time, well, forget about the earlier time. The way it is now is that if you are on diamond, maybe you're very fit and a healthy person, you'll get 10 times the miles at certain merchants. And those merchants, I think, are listed somewhere. These are the merchants, which are quite, uh, their, their um, range of merchants are actually quite good. Because if you look at it, I mean, there's petrol. There's, you've got two options with petrol, uh, Sportsman's Warehouse. And that is also, over and above that, you're also getting some discounts there on the Vitality side. So there's the credit card gives you um, the miles, but then the Vitality also give you some benefit there. So when you're trying to understand the discovery product, you've got to understand that the card and the vitality uh, discounts are separate because you could you may not have a discovery credit card but still get cash back on sportsman's warehouse because of your vitality status but if you have the credit card you will get miles uh, back 
based on your credit card usage. So people often get confused that the credit card and the Vitality are actually two separate programs. All right, so you get the miles back, but keeping in mind that uh, you have to have the uh, program to have the Vitality. So you've, you've got to pay for that Vitality as well. So having the Vitality active means you are paying that membership fee. So the miles program, you will you could easily get when I say easily, if you are somebody who spends a lot on their credit card, you could quite easily get your maximum 10,000 miles a month. Now, I'll just show you. Um, here is my own miles reward, and you can see that I can easily get the maximum miles every month. And what they do is that you get multiplier miles based on using their partners versus spend miles, which means if you're not using their partners, but you are uh, maybe going to buy an airline ticket with Iberia Airlines and it costs you 20,000 Rand. Well, then you will get miles based on just that spend uh, at one I think it's 1 to 15. I think that's their rate. Yeah, there's 50, one mile for every 15 rand that you spend. So if you go to loot and you spend 1,000 rand, you'll get times 10 if you're on diamond status. When I said you, if you spend 1,000 rand at loot, you've got to divide that by 15 because 1,000 divided by 15 will give you 66, mile, uh, 66 miles, but because you are on diamond, you could times it by 10 and you should be getting 666 uh, miles. So this is where it gets quite complicated, is the timesing by 10 and all the merchants. So if you feel like they haven't allocated the miles correctly, all I can say is good luck uh, doing a spreadsheet and sending it to them to try and getting that uh, corrected because you'll end up having to locate the merchants, then you'll have to say the RAND value, then you'll have to do an, a formula, adding up the total spend, then you've got to divide it by the miles divisor, then you multiply it by your uh, vitality status, then you've got to apply a cap, and then there's your uh, multiplier miles, and if you did extra expenditure, expenditure at a non-partner um, merchants, well then you can add that to the the uh, miles earned okay so it gets quite complicated so overall uh, is it a good program well definitely because you have all these partners and these partners are very common merchants in uh, in south africa especially the discam the nandos but what i don't like is obviously the cap so again a capped program but then you have to also have the uh i don't want to call it tiers but it kind of is a tier because you earn based on uh, your vitality status. So again, you know, it's kind of tears. Yeah. All right. Okay. So that's the discovery one. Then I looked at the African bank and I did contact them and they don't have a rewards program where they give you points or money back based on how much you spend. So no rewards program there as yet. Then a very popular bank uh, at the moment is Capitec. Well, I contacted them and they don't have a reward system for their credit card, which means that if you are spending 50000 and then you spend another 50000 it's not going to make a difference in terms of what you get back from the bank. So no active reward system there. I did contact the call center. Also, they don't advertise a reward system on their uh, website. Right, now we come to the Nedbank option and they have a rewards program called Greenbacks. And this reward program is uh, quite simple because it says here one rand, oh, sorry, one greenback for every five rand you spend. And uh, there's no, I don't see any tiering and things like that. However, it has a limit and that is 10,000 Rand spent. So if you're going to spend 11,000 Rand, well, that additional 1,000, you're not going to earn any points there. Remember, I'm only interested in the credit card. I'm not looking at the check account. So I, for me, this is a bit of a limitation because I wanted to, the purpose of the video is to find the most rewards, and here we're limited to 10 thousand rand spend and if you say ten thousand rand spend that would be equivalent to only two thousand greenbacks and i'm not sure the conversion ratio of greenback to rand because with the greenback you can get, go and purchase at various merchants and things like that and they can give it to you as cash 
if you want it. Okay, so on the Nedbank Greenbacks Rewards page, there is an option to go shopping and to spend your rewards via travel and also to go green and also to donate points. You can donate, it says the greater good. Um, I did try and have a look at this, but at the moment their web page is not functional. All right, so say you want to work out the value of a greenback. Now, obviously it costs you a certain amount of money rands in order to get a greenback but now if you want to go and see the purchasing power of that greenback well here we go you see here is a mellowware pressure cooker and this pressure cooker is going to cost you 44,600 greenbacks so here you can see it's 44,600 and if i just get an average price of this or at least a price um, if i went to half hour corp then it says it's 1,299 rand um let's just look at mr price okay so uh that's quite amazing you can get it for 9 rand 99 okay it is out of stock though so you'll have to wait uh it probably is a mistake it's probably 9.99 because if i look at take a lot there it says 9.99 so let's just call it a thousand rand for this mellowware pressure cooker now i had to spend 44,600 greenbacks in order to get it so i would say uh, 9.99 which is a thousand rand and if i divide that by 44,600 greenbacks in order to purchase it i've got a ratio there you can see now if i times it by 100 uh, you can see that it is 2.2 cents. Uh, it's equivalent to 2.24. So you're getting 2.24 cents on your uh, on your on your purchases. So if I times that 2.24 uh, by 44,600, you can see. You can see I get a hundred thousand, but remember that that's a hundred thousand cents. So if I go back, um, there we go. So that brings me to the original amount. Keeping in mind that you had to spend a certain amount of money in order to get that uh, greenbacks in the first place, because you're getting one greenback for every five rand you spend. So if you go forty-four thousand six hundred um, is the amount of greenbacks. But in order to have got that amount of greenbacks, you had to have spent five rand per greenback. So you're looking at you would need to spend two hundred and twenty-three thousand rand in order to buy this one thousand rand uh, pressure cooker. So if I'd say one thousand rand now divided by two hundred and twenty-three thousand, um, you're getting to uh, 0 0.004, and if you times it by 100, you're getting 0.4%, which uh, it might sound uh, low. It's actually not that low, so it works out to be 0.45%, which is uh, not that bad, but remember that you forced to buy it here at, as, a, as a product it's not cash back although you can donate points here there is an option to donate points um you can uh, transfer points and this is where if you want to donate your points to uh some charities you also got this option so this also gives us an opportunity to see the conversion ratio that they set out and you can see there for um what's that to, to get 25 rand donation, you would have had to uh, use 600 greenbacks. So 600 uh, divided by, sorry, uh, 25 divided by 600, and you can see that ratio, 0 0.041. Keeping in mind that uh, if you say 600 times 5 rand per greenback, you, in order for you to get 25 rand, you needed to spend uh, six uh, 3,000 rand. So you would need to have... Uh, spend 3,000 Rand in your credit card to be able to make one donation of 25 Rand. So uh, if I just work that out in terms of what the percentage is, you can see there it is, uh, times by 100. So it works out to be 0.833%. Keeping in mind that, remember, there is that limit. Because even if you do go for this option, you, you can only get 10,000 greenbacks in one uh, purchase cycle, well, one monthly cycle, there you see, because it says uh, up to 10,000. Unless you go for the corporate card, you're getting 50,000. But here's where you can uh, score. You see, there's the American Express. Now you're scoring at twice the rate. This is a slightly different table, but it's just put it into uh, for the 10 Rand. So what it would mean is that now you would get two greenbacks for every five rands. What I like about it is that you can get twice the rewards if you're using the American Express and there it is unlimited. So looking at a little table here, this is a one card that I'm interested in because it is unlimited, but it has to be the Amex version. And um, 
and American Express have their own. You've got a you've got a, their own page here, and you could carry on with their uh, American Express uh, uh, portal here. Right now we come to the British Airways card, which is backed by EBSA. So if you have to collect your card or make any changes, you're dealing with EBSA, and there's no problem with that. And this is linked to the Avios program, which is the a loyalty program for British Airways and they work on their own portal portal you got to log into their executive club and you get seven you get one avios for every seven rand fifty you spend and there's some benefit for uh, merchants such as BP and pick and pay but just be careful when you are purchasing from BP I think you pay an additional transaction fee when you purchase petrol on this card so uh, you will have to look at the terms and conditions and you will see that as soon as you sign up, you will get some uh, Avios as kind of a gift. And then if you spend a certain amount within the first three months, I think it's 24,000, you will also get additional Avios. But thereafter, you're getting one Avios for every seven rand fifty. You also get uh, access to a slow lounge and uh and but that's only if you're flying british airways so if you're at the airport and you um flying a different airline you might not be able to get uh, access to that uh slow line if you spend more than fifty thousand in a card year you get a complimentary pass so someone can join you and then i think if you spend more than two hundred thousand somewhere else if you spend more than two hundred thousand you get a companion voucher which is like an additional ticket. Say you book a ticket from here to London, then you can get an additional ticket as long as you've reached the 200,000 spend amount. So there are these uh, very nice uh, additional features, but in terms of just rewards, well, you're getting uncapped Avios at a rate of 7 Rand 50, you will get one Avios. And once you've uh, joined the Avios program, you'll log into a British Airways site and then you'll see your Avios and then you'll be able to uh, purchase flights, hotels and things like that. But uh, don't be fooled. It is quite expensive if you are booking hotels in terms of a rand amount. And I've got a video demonstrating the cash value versus the Avios value when booking hotels. Um, but if you're upgrading tickets and things like that, this is quite a useful program. I've, I'm currently using it as well because i like the fact that it has an unlimited amount of uh, avios and also you can book hotels rental cars so you've got a lot your holidays you've got quite a lot to choose from so if you had to compare the avios to the kalula you can see that the avios is a much bigger program and also uncapped so this is the avios program and obviously you would have to get one of these credit cards Right, just looking at the Investec system, now their whole product option is different. So here you get one card which form, which uh, is linked to your current or your transactional account, but that transactional account also is like a credit card account in that you've got 45 days interest fee free credit. So they do this like one account for transactional and credit card. So that's uh, there's nothing wrong with that. In fact, that's a very good product idea, uh, but just keep in mind it is, it's not the norm so here you're going to get 45 days interest fee credit whereas on the other banks you're getting uh, on just a credit card mostly the 55 days so it's not a big difference um, I'm, but I'm just highlighting it the other aspect which is going to be uh, something to look at and I didn't go into too much on fees with the other banks because the credit card fees are, are quite close to each other it's just the reason why I'm um, discussing each other the investing because their product is transactional plus credit card so i feel it's important to mention that the the account fee is uh, is quite a bit higher than the other uh, banks if you just had a standalone credit card but then keep in mind you're not just getting a standalone credit card so their whole thing is bundled so you're paying a 535 for the entire account but that means you're also getting the transactional account as well so uh, if that's something that's suitable for you then that's perfect but the purpose of this video was just to find out which credit card gives you the highest 
rewards or the, where you can get the maximum rewards. So coming to the rewards program, you can see that they give you one reward for every five rand spent. And their marketing here is what I enjoy is very clear. No monthly or joining fees and no hidden fees and no entry criteria or complicated conditions. I really like that. And no minimum spend requirements, no status levels or complicated tiers. And that's something that means a lot to me because I've been on the Absa Rewards program, I've been on the Yukon, and it, I found the tiers quite uh, frustrating uh, personally. So I don't really like going jumping through hoops and doing all these extra things and uh, in order to get higher um, tiers and and then you've got the discovery system in terms of your health is to your health it's a little bit different but again it's still the tier system I just really wanted to look uh, uh, for a card that if you spend 50,000 you're getting X amount of uh, cash back or points or whatever but as long as the points can be converted to some sort of reward and then if you spend 100,000, you should be getting more. And if you spend 200,000, well, you should be getting more. And if you spend half a million, well, then you should be getting even more. So that's why I was saying which card is, is really uncapped. Uh, and now we can see that this is also one of the cards that's falling into that uncapped uh, tier. So here we go. We have the Investec. We've got the BA card. And we've got the Nedbank Amex card so far that have the uncapped, meaning you, you're you not limited by how much you spend in terms of getting rewards. Okay, now they also have uh, various options. You can book travel here via Investec and they've got their different options. So it's like, you know, in the Avios program, you can uh, look at uh, uh, booking hotels, flights and all those things. So there are these extra features which are bundled with the card. But what I'm looking at right now is I just want to look at the rewards itself. Right now, just looking at you, if you had 3,000 Investec points, you will you can convert it to 1,000 Avios. But just to give you an idea of that conversion ratio, BA card gives you one Avios for seven rand fifty. Investec give you one point for five rand. But then, if you want to convert point to Avios, you got to times it by three. So. If you're interested in just getting Avios as your reward, well, then it seems like the uh, executive club option is more efficient, uh, um, is cheaper because here it's 7.5 to 1, while here it is 5 to 1, but 3 to 1. So you'd have to say, so it's 15 Rand to 1 Avios if you were going to convert um, from the Investec system and you wanted to just earn Avios, you would be paying 15 Rand for one Avios, while on the British Airways cards, you play, you're paying 7 Rand 50 for one Avios. But that's only if the Avios is the purpose of your, your um, rewards. So there are other rewards here, and uh, quite extensive rewards, because here you can also do the financial asset management products, and you can then convert your rewards, your points, into investments, which is also very nice considering that Investec is an investment bank. All right, so just looking at the conversion here, so you'll get 250 Rand if you spend, if you have 5,000 points. Just to get an idea of the uh, Rand, the uh, conversion ratio, if you, if you had 5,000 points, you would have had to have spent five rand per point so that would be 25,000 rand will give you 250 rand voucher um, and that's if you're doing the travel option when you can look here you can see that um, uh, if, if you if you look here on the calculator you can see that if I just uh, invert that and times that by 250 you're getting 0 0.01 so if I times that by uh, you're getting one percent which is fairly high. So again, here, if you if you spent uh, if you had ten thousand um, ten thousand points, it would have cost you um, fifty thousand rand to get that. And in order to uh, get your five hundred rand investment, you would then say times five hundred, and obviously you're going to come out at the same place here at. 0.01 so if it times that to get a percentage you're getting your one percent so this is also a reward system that's worth looking at because firstly it's unlimited it's quite it's quite a straightforward simple system and uh, also the uh, the 
and also you've got some flexibility here in converting although not at the greatest rate but then keep in mind that uh, avios is a competing rewards program so you wouldn't expect it to be at the exact same rate as the investigrate all right now here is the fine print again they say the rate is determined by them just like uh, all the others and you get one point for every five rand you spend and here it says there is no limit to the number of reward points you can earn in one billing cycle okay the last card that i looked at is the diners club card and this is also a card that gives uncapped rewards so this falls into the category of uncapped which is uh, now the diners club investec ba card and amex card and how it works is they've got their own rewards program as well and they call it club miles now they've also got their whole uh, product offering where you can book um uh, they've got a store, holiday packages, vouchers, and so forth. So what is the rate of earning miles? Well, they've got some partnerships, and you do get a higher a mile rate when you purchase fuel, and uh, they've got their partners, their partner network. But what I'm interested in is how many miles I can get and how much are the miles. So here we go. I could not see the rate on the website. They have the... Um, higher rate for their partner stores but what is the earn rate if you're just swiping uh, directly now i phoned their call center and they confirmed that they offer eight rand uh, you'll get one mile for one for eight rand so that's eight to one and then that it is uncapped they confirmed that to me as well so just looking at the partners here you can you can see that they are also quite extensive in terms of uh, you, you can buy you can buy vouchers so if i say i went to pick and pay and now you can see the conversion ratio um there it says 100 rand will cost you 1724 miles but 1000 if i do the co conversion ratio for you um, 1,724 uh, miles, you'll have to times it by 8. So it'll have cost you 13,792 rand in your credit card spend in order to get 100 rand, which you could use, say, for pick and pay or whatever you want. So if you do that ratio, you could see that if I times that by um, 100, you can see the, the percentage here is... 0.725 so that's that's not bad considering that if you look at the other banks for example if you look at absa if you just have the standalone credit card and you're on the lowest tier well you're getting 0.25 so just to put that into perspective and then i think uh, standard bank offered a bit more but then again they they max out at giving you 2000 rand per month so you've got to look at these percentage, the percentages that they're giving you back. I mean, we just looked at the Investec and that uh, seemed to be 1%. Okay, so here you're getting 0.72 and it is uncapped. So you could, um, you could use your credit card almost uh, up, you know, more than 500,000 apparently. So that's also a card that is worth looking at, the Diners Club. And it's also got a partner network. And uh, there we go. So this is the summary of this review. The uncapped cards are these four, which are the... Uh, Nedbank Amex, the BA Card Investec, and Diners Club. So that would mean that um, you could get the maximum rewards from these four banks or these four providers. And why I say maximum? Because because it's uncapped, uh, you could, uh, in principle, spend 500,000 and you would still be getting rewards. And if you go 550,000, that extra 50,000, you're still getting rewards. And that is how I defined maximum rewards. Now, I will do a shorter video just comparing the unlimited uncapped cards and which one gives you the highest uh, rewards based on the uncapped cards all right so that brings me to the end of this very long exhaustive video on the rewards program for standalone credit cards uh, thanks for watching and i hope it was helpful just a reminder i'm not providing you with financial advice i'm just telling you what i have used and uh, this uh, video is subject to errors which may have occurred from phoning various call center agents and things do change on the company's website so please use at your own risk cheers